it's been you know frustrating in that we um we had really gotten rolling to where people were like oh my gosh you know like i really want to go see shows there and then have taken this two-year break and so um fingers crossed because i'm not holding my breath because <laughs> i don't want to pass out <laughs> You know, we're going to get back to like a regular slate of concerts, um, you know, on a monthly basis moving forward. And, you know, we've been working really hard to sort of stack the calendar um, in a intelligent and conservative way. And at the same time, when something comes up that we think would be great, it's like, all right, let's, you know, roll the dice and hopefully we'll get the audience for this. Um, so, yeah, it's just an amazing space, and it's one of the things that we love so much about this building is the ability to, you know, bring, you know, just uh, world-class musicians um, out here to Eastern Oregon. One of the things that I loved doing was when we have bands in the morning, like, make pancakes for everybody, and uh, the griddle is just so great for that. And then we use it, too, like, during the uh, race across America when um, cyclists come through Baker in early June um, on their race from Astoria to the East Coast. Uh, and so it's always fun to just like fire up the grill and you know, put tons of pancakes for people. <laughs> so our first concert of the year, basically first concert back um, is with Portland-based Fox and Bones, and so it's a couple um, that's a duo, and they do sort of modern folk, Americana stuff. I would say compared to traditional folk music, this is much more danceable and it's poppy. Um, they have some stuff that's very current event, um, but in a way, sort of like The Clash did stuff. Like, sure, they had songs that had political statements, but as Billy Bragg said, you could dance to it. So Jenny Dunn and the Spurs, we had scheduled for March of 2020. And so they were the I think first or second show that we canceled because of the pandemic. So I am really looking forward to finally having them. Tell me that you love me. Say that you'll be mine. I can't keep this in anymore. No, I can't. Then I listened to Humber and I was like, man, she's fantastic. Um, and like you said, there's an experimental folk um, like uh, tag to what she does. And there's some instrumental stuff on some of her records. And then just traditional, fantastic songwriting. Um, one of the great things is artists are starting to tour again. And based on where Churchill's situated between Portland and Boise or Seattle and Salt Lake City is we're in a place where an artist can pick up an extra day in between or like save themselves a 12 hour drive. And so because we're a smaller venue, smaller city, we don't always get the ability to like pick and choose like Friday and Saturday nights. With Humbird, we're lucky like April 2nd falls on a Saturday, which is awesome. And at the same time with some of the other bands that we get, it's like Wednesday is the day that they don't have a gig. So we get them on Wednesday. And you know, the nice thing is in the summer, like Wednesdays, like people don't make plans on Wednesdays, but they make plans on Saturday. So they may not be in town. So to me, it's like, I really just love having great music here in Eastern Oregon. So if 
Tuesday is the day that we're going to, you know, get a great band. Tuesday's the day. And so, yeah, we're, we're really excited to see that, you know, tours are really starting to come together and, you know, it's, uh, it's light at the end of the tunnel. Oh.